Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm making a very highly requested video on Linux. I'm gonna be discussing the pros and cons of Linux and why I use it on my laptop as my main operating system and then in a dual boot environment on my PC. Now personally, I'm non expert at Linux. I've been using it for about four months. I have it on my laptop and then obviously here in dual boot. And that's about my experience with Linux. I am, you know, not an expert. I'm using Ubuntu with a genome desktop, just, you know, the built in standard stuff. And I feel like that's where a lot of you guys are as well. You have some basic understanding of Linux. You could switch to it and you could use it, but there's something holding you back or you're not sure whether or not you should make the change and go all Linux. Now, personally, I have every operating system, so I have a good idea and good reference point to be able to compare these different things. But anyways, let's get into this video, discuss the pros and cons of Linux and why or why I wouldn't recommend switching to that operating system. Now, before we get too far into the video, I need to show you guys these awesome wallets. So this is a wallet I got sent from Exker Wallet, I think. There's a link in the description to the website where you can have a look at it, but it's an awesome card holder wallet. So you can see when I press the button down here, it actually ejects the cards. I believe it can hold five up top like this. And then there's some flaps in here for some more cards and some cash and another flap at the back that can hold another card. Now these actually come with an optional GPS tracker as well, but definitely check them out. There's a link in the description. And again, a thank you for sending these over for free. All right, so let's get started with the pros. Now the first and most important thing with Linux, the reason that I use it on my laptop as the main operating and the only operating system on there is because of the consistency and the reliability. Now I'm comparing this to an operating system like Windows. Whereas many times on my Windows laptop before it had Ubuntu on it, when I opened it up, I would just want to throw it against the wall because I'd see that dreaded screen where it said it was updating. This is something that I absolutely cannot deal with. I do not want to open up my computer and not be able to use it for half an hour because it has to do an update that I didn't agree to. And I absolutely don't want to be rushing for a power source in the middle of the night when I open my laptop because it says updating, don't power off, and God only knows what's going to happen when this shuts off when it's in the middle of updating. With Linux, this does not happen. You can choose when you want to update, how you want to update, and you don't ever have to update at all. Now, I know in Windows you can go and tweak these settings, but I feel like it doesn't matter what you do on that operating system, it will somehow find a way to ruin your day someday in the future when it needs to update. And it's done that for me so many times, and that's one of the main reasons I love Ubuntu, because I know that's not going to happen, and I know that if I need to open my computer and get something done, I'm not going to have to worry, and that's going to be fine. The next thing that I love about Ubuntu and Linux in particular is security. Now I believe with every Linux distribution, at least with Ubuntu for sure, I've tested that on my main computer and my laptop. When you install this operating system, it gives you the option to encrypt, uh, yeah, encrypt your disk drive. Now essentially what that means is if someone gets access to your drive, even if they plug it into a different computer and try to run you know, a different operating system on something like that, they won't be able to without knowing your master encryption key. Now essentially what that is, is some key that actually unlocks the drive to make it readable. So this means that if I plug in my Ubuntu hard drive into a new computer, I can't immediately read it and start looking at all of the stuff on it without having that key. So that's actually huge if you're someone that's into cybersecurity and you're someone that cares about the physical you know, safety of your devices. Because what a lot of people don't know is if I have access to your computer, especially this one right here, and you have just say a standard Windows drive on that, if I take that out and I just plug that into a new SATA slot on my computer and I log in, I can actually read your entire drive if it's not encrypted. So that's a big deal. There's also a lot of other security features built into the operating system that do with network security and a lot of other important things. Things. And when it comes to security, Ubuntu is kind of just the winner. It's obviously not 100%. There's things that you can do to hack it and to get in. But compared to an operating system like Windows or like Mac, it's much, much more secure and just makes you feel a lot safer when you're actually using it. Now, the next massive advantage of Linux is performance. Now, this is particularly important if you're running on hardware that's outdated or just slower hardware in general. Linux is a much faster, more efficient, and lighter weight operating system for almost every single distribution that you have. Now, even with my distribution, which is Ubuntu, which has the full genome desktop, which would be one of the heavier weight versions of Linux, it runs extremely fast on my laptop, which is like a mid-level laptop that would take typically, let's say, 45 seconds to boot up in Windows. Now, with Ubuntu on it, it loads in probably 10 to 15 seconds, and everything just happens much faster. 
even programming. And I know this sounds kind of ridiculous. When I'm running some specific programming scripts, I notice things happen faster in Ubuntu and in Linux. When I'm trying to open a program, when I'm trying to navigate some, or even just look things up on the web, um, sometimes it runs faster in Linux. The kind of rule of thumb is that Linux is just faster and more efficient. And specifically when you're working with outdated hardware or hardware that can't isn't really capable of running a full Windows um, install like efficiently, Linux is a much better choice. So Windows, I'm sure you guys you guys know, running on an old computer just doesn't work very well. It's super slow. It takes you know three four minutes to even get into the screen where you can see the Windows loading happening. With Ubuntu, that just doesn't happen. It's so much faster, and Linux is just way better when it comes to performance. Now, the next pro is going to be specific to programmers, and this is just programming on Linux. There's nothing really specific I can say about this other than it's just way nicer, way easier, and generally faster to get things done when you're working in Linux. When it comes to installing complicated modules and packages, a lot of the times when you need to do that on Windows, they involve multiple steps. There's graphical installers you got to install, you got to extract this, you got to go here, install this here move that there it's just usually way easier on Linux now I'm sure there's some exceptions here when it comes to specific programming languages and whatnot but in general and with all of the different programming languages that I've used so far they've all worked better and just been easier and less stressful to use on Linux and I now pretty much do all my programming which is pretty heavy programming too, quite a bit of it on Linux because it's just way easier. The terminal is so much nicer for running different commands. Just moving and navigating around things using the terminal commands are way easier on Linux and it's just it's just way less of a headache. So definitely if you're doing a lot of heavy programming, I would recommend at least dual booting a Linux on your machine and using the uh, you know, using Linux for your programming and then Windows or Mac for whatever else you need to do. So those have kind of been my four pros and the things I noticed immediately about Linux that I loved. I'm sure there's obviously hundreds, thousands of more pros and reasons why you would want to use it. But for me, those are the things that stood out and are the most important to me. So that's why I mentioned them. But now let's go ahead and get into the cons of Linux as there is actually quite a few of those as well. All right, so the first con of Linux, and this might seem like it's going to contradict one of the points I made earlier in the pros, is that there's a lot of bugs and a lot of things that don't really work. Now, this is just because Linux is an open source operating system. It's free. It does not have nearly the massive teams that Windows and Mac OS have working on them. And because of that, there is a lot of issues with the operating system. Now for me, I've had this operating system crash a few times on me, or at least crash specific applications that are third party apps. And when I initially installed this on my computer, trying to get a lot of my accessories, like my microphone and my, uh, what is it, I guess, speaker and even my keyboard to work on it properly was just a nightmare. It took a really long time. The drivers for those were not automatically installed, whereas with Windows, they are automatically installed and with Mac, they typically are as well. And I had to go through some pretty technical and difficult steps to actually get them working. So that's something to consider. A lot of accessories and a lot of the things that are built for computers, just to plug in USB or whatever it is, are not designed to work with Linux and are not designed to work with Ubuntu. So trying to get them work, uh, get them working sometimes can be difficult. And I've heard stories of specific accessories just completely not working at all with the computer. So that was a big deal for me on my laptop. I didn't have sound the entire first day that I had the laptop because I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I also didn't have Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi adapter was not initially installed on there. So if that's your only computer or that's your only tech device, how are you going to look up how to solve that, right? So just some things like that. There's a lot of bugs, a lot of things that just go wrong. And sometimes you're going to run into some pretty difficult technical issues with your accessories and even with software, which is my next point. So there's a lot of software that you probably want to use that you can't use on Linux. That's just because it's not supported. You know, this operating system is not meant for you know your average everyday user the person who just wants to go on their computer and write in microsoft word and use excel guess what you can't get that on linux or if you can i don't know how and i haven't done so and the built-in tools that come with linux which are supposed to kind of substitute those they have like libre office writer and libre spreadsheet or something like that in my opinion are really not comparable to the kind of microsoft products i'm sure obviously you can use google docs you can use google word our Google Word, what is it, Google Sheets, all of that. But still, it's just something to consider that there is a lot of software, and specifically video editing software as well, that you can't use on this operating system and that just don't work well. And that's kind of the two major cons that I noticed with this operating system, is that a lot of what I wanted to do, 
I couldn't actually do on this or if I could it was just a pain and it wasn't nearly as clean as it was on Windows and that's why I keep dual boot um, on this machine. Now other than that um, there's nothing too drastic that I would say about Ubuntu that I don't like. I will say that there is some actually screen resolution errors so I have two monitors here and trying to get these monitors to be different resolutions so that they don't look zoomed on one and zoomed on the other because I have a 4k monitor and a 1080p monitor is it doesn't work I, there's no way I've looked it up I can't even get it to work properly after going through all these guides to get this one to go 1080p and to get this one to go 4k and to have no scaling issues whatsoever what I want to do is just zoom one screen and unzoom the other one and I can't do that and there's a lot of things like that where it's just these different accessories and compatibility things that just don't work on the system and there's nothing you can really do to fix that now obviously there's tons of customizabilities I'm sure there's probably something I've done wrong but that's just something to notice here, right? You know, there's some things you want to do that you can't do. And even if you can do them, they're pretty difficult to get done. And if you're just an average user that doesn't understand all these technical pseudo commands and uh, lingo and jargon and all of that, it's going to be very difficult to figure out how to do it. It's another thing. There is absolutely no support for this operating system when it comes to like calling in and asking someone for help or having someone even come to your house, you know, and fix it. Whereas something like Mac or something like Windows, you can bring that to the store and someone will fix that for you. Now, that's because this is an open source and free operating system. One of the advantages of it also becomes a massive disadvantage as well. So anyways, that has kind of been my opinion on Ubuntu. Now, I understand a lot of this is subjective. It's for my use case, and that's what I tried to make clear at the beginning of this video. If there's anything in here that you guys disagree with or that you'd like to elaborate on, please do leave a comment down below. And the last and final plug before we leave, go and follow me on Instagram, go and follow me on Twitter. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in 